Hello, this is Greg Zolfin from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to access someone else's OneDrive. Now, if you recall from my previous uh, videos as well as um, blog posts, um, OneDrive is essentially a user's a private drive, private little repository. So if I were to go to my OneDrive account, unlike SharePoint, which is public, right? SharePoint uh, can be accessed by, you know, by usually the whole organization, by certain team members, depending on the site uh, and the intent and the objective of a particular SharePoint site. OneDrive is essentially a personal little space for a particular individual. So here is my um, personal um, OneDrive. I guess it's uh, uh, when I say personal, it's part of OneDrive for Business, which is essentially part of Office 365, the company uh, Office 365 account. But when I say personal, I mean that everything here is private to me. Uh, by default, everything, as you recall, uh, in OneDrive is private to the user. The user can still share documents uh, if they wish right with you know files and folders uh with their colleagues or externally but by default everything is private all right so why would you want to access someone else's onedrive well there could be different reasons uh right maybe a user has left the organization and you just need to access the information and retrieve you know the you know work that they have done and maybe did not post to sharepoint uh maybe the user went on vacation uh, and, um, you know, maybe a manager or a colleague needs to uh, access the, the information in OneDrive as well. So whatever the situation is, uh, there are actually two ways to access uh, a OneDrive account, someone else's OneDrive account, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So option number one uh, f for you to access someone else's OneDrive account is essentially um, you need to be a SharePoint, well, to be precise, actually, uh, you need to be an Office 365 global admin, all right? So option number one, most likely that someone from IT, um, you know, with the Office 365 global uh, admin privileges can access uh, OneDrive account pretty much for everyone uh, within the organization, no matter whether they're a regular employee, a manager, uh, a CEO, uh, everyone uh, with Office 365 admin privileges can access uh, anyone else's OneDrive account. So that's option number one. Option number two is when the user does not have Office 365 uh, global admin privileges and maybe, you know, they're just a regular, you know, manager, I guess, uh, or a colleague and, you know, and they just need to, to, you know, to access someone else's OneDrive. So I'm going to show you both options. I'm going to start with option number one, where, uh, where a user with global uh, Office 365 admin privileges would have uh, would be able to access someone else's uh, OneDrive. I mean, typically, right, this would be someone from your IT team, somebody who has set up your tenant, somebody who has set up your, you know, SharePoint environment as well. All right, so uh, once again, option number one, um, let's pretend you are an Office 365 admin, which is actually what my account is. I am a global Office 365 admin. And I'm going to, let me close my OneDrive account over here. I'm going to use Mary. So, you know, Mary, um, this is the SharePoint environment where Mary uh, Smith is logged in. And uh, we are going to attempt to access Mary's uh, OneDrive account. Maybe she went on vacation and uh, we need to access some of the files and folders that she has. So uh, now let me go to Mary's OneDrive account from Mary's account, just so that we can see what she has. Okay, perfect. This is Mary's OneDrive account. Now, if you notice, uh, if you look at the URL, just want to highlight your attention over here. If you look at the URL, this is pretty much the kind of the naming convention of a, a OneDrive URL. Uh, essentially, it would be an address like this, where it would state, you know, your company name, right? Uh, dash my SharePoint, my dot SharePoint dot com, forward slash personal, then forward slash you know, that would be the unique user ID, right? The, in, 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 in this case, you know, it's that states kind of the email address over here. So this would be the naming convention for everyone's OneDrive, right? And essentially, you know, if I wanted to access someone, you know, someone OneDrive, I would need that URL, all right? Now, just to show you at the moment, if I copy that URL, 
and go once again to my you know account over here this is me uh the global office 365 admin by default if i were to paste you know this url here you see by default i get access denied um, even though i'm a global office 365 admin i need to kind of request permissions and that's what i'm going to show you how to do so once again option number one i am a global office 365 admin so you what you would need to do is navigate to the admin center now i want to highlight uh and i want to be pretty clear about this is that you need to be an office 365 global admin not a sharepoint admin you know how in uh, uh in uh, office 365 you have different user roles i actually blogged about those um you know on my um sharepoint uh, maven uh, blog um, you have to be sharepoint admin is not enough you need to be a global office 365 admin in order to do what i'm going to show you all right so here we go when office 365 admin center then you would not need to navigate to your users active users list find mary okay find mary over here and then we would need to navigate over here at the, all the way at the bottom to OneDrive settings. And look at this. If I click access files, I will be able to access Mary's OneDrive account. All right, that's how easy it is. Let me cl click that. All right, I thought I clicked that. Let's wait. Here we go. Perfect. I guess you have to be patient, not like me. So here we go. Look at this. This is the URL. Remember I showed you this URL? And now if I click on it, remember how I got to, uh, I got access denied previously? That's it. We're in Mary's OneDrive account. Uh, and now, of course, I can, you know, do whatever I need to do here and, you know, download or, you know, or move the files or copy or whatever I need to do. All right. So once again, very straightforward. You just navigate as a global Office 365 admin center. Uh, admin, uh, admin, you need to navigate to the um, admin center. Go to the active users list. Find, you know, the user. And then click on the OneDrive settings. Uh, click on access files. And you would actually be given a URL. And from that point on, uh, from that point on, you, you, you have access uh, to that user's OneDrive. And obviously, you will need to do the same uh, to... Um, you would need to do the same on um, um, with other uh, with other users as well, of course. All right. All right. So that's scenario number one. Uh, scenario number one was when someone with the, those magic uh, global privileges, admin privileges, was able to get in. Now, what about scenario number two? We, um, you know, let's say we we have John, who is the colleague, maybe or manager of Mary. And once again, Mary went on vacation, but we now need to give John access to Mary's account. Now, John, uh, you know, is not a, 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 an admin of any kind. He is just a regular, you know, guy. And um, we obviously do not want him to give, <laughs> we don't want to give him Office 365 global admin privileges just because he needs to access Mary's files. That would be a little bit too much for John. So how do we, how do we get around that? Um, let me show you. Uh, once again, just to prove kind of kind of the point, uh, this is the URL of Mary's OneDrive. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going. This is, by the way, this is uh, the browser where John is logged in. So it, once again, if I if I just um, click on you know click the URL, obviously by default, John, um, you know, being a colleague of Mary, does not have access to to Mary's OneDrive. So what we're going to do now is let John in and let him access uh, Mary's OneDrive without him being a global admin. So I need to be back um, uh, under my Office 365 global admin account right here. So once again, uh, we in, at this point, we are going to go to SharePoint Admin Center from Office 365 Admin Center. You would need to navigate to SharePoint Admin Center. Uh, now, this is where, of course, you will get a list of all the different site collections and everything. 
and uh, we need to click on something called user profiles. This is where you can control the information uh, for each and every user as far as the properties uh, and the information that is ultimately displayed on the user's Delft profile. Uh, but in this case, we're going to cl click on manage user profiles. And of course, we need to find Mary's profile. Here we go. All right. Here we go. We found Mary's profile. Then what you need to do is this. Uh, this is just, you know, the few steps you need to kind of remember. You click on the little drop down uh, next to Mary's name, manage site collection owners. And look, at the end of the day, you know, just want to explain what we're doing here. Uh, at the end of the day, each and every user, when we we talk about the OneDrive accounts, essentially each and every user has their own site collection. Think of a OneDrive as a, a user's own site collection, right? Now, what happens when you need to access or, or administer a regular site collection, right? You need to be an owner of that. You need to be a site collection admin of that particular site collection, right? And this is something you can do uh, from the SharePoint admin center, right? Now, in this case, we just through the user profiles, we were able to access Mary's site collection. And essentially in order for John to access Mary's uh, site collection, Mary's OneDrive, we need to add John as a site collection admin here. Now, if you notice, so Mary, of course, is the primary admin. Hey, she is the owner of her OneDrive, right? And then on the secondary site collection admins, in addition to Mary, we also have Greg. How come? Well, remember, I just showed you option number one where I, I as a global admin, um, was able to access uh, OneDrive, Mary's OneDrive. Well, you know, when I did that, well, you know, right, it added, actually added my name. So if I were, if I didn't show you this option before, it wouldn't be like this. It would be pretty much just like that. You would see Mary, Mary over here, uh, no other names. But because I, uh, because I, already showed you option number one, my name was added in here automatically as a site collection admin, all right? Uh, so, you know, I just kind of removed it, but just because I wanted to show you and explain to you what we did before, now we are going to add John, uh, John into the, uh, as a site collection admin, as a secondary uh, site collection admin, right? Here we go, now John, is the admin of the site collection of Mary's personal site collection, uh, also known as her OneDrive, all right? So now if we, once again, if we try to copy the URL for Mary's OneDrive account, and then we just send it off to John, John comes in, paste the URL, and look at this, John can now access um, you know, Mary's uh, OneDrive and obviously do whatever he needs to do with her files, all right? So once again, to kind of recap the two options I showed you, uh, option number one was where we essentially, you as a global or someone else as a global Office 365 admin was able to access another user's, um, another user's uh, OneDrive account and that was pretty straightforward uh, from the global uh, admin center in Office 365. Uh, option number two was when we allowed anyone else who does who is not a site collection, uh, I guess, admin uh, or a global admin to become a site collection administrator for that user's OneDrive. And we did it through user profile section uh, of SharePoint Admin Center. So hopefully you found this uh, video useful. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you again on my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Uh, stay tuned and uh, looking forward to see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.